Welcome to the Blue Cup in the Attic. This Blue Cup in the Attic is called Gang Stalking. How they lure you into joining. Okay. No portion of the Blue Cup in the Attic may be used without the expressed written consent of Kimmy Wyatt. Okay. And that's me. First things first, a couple of things I want to get out in the open. You guys, please, I do not think that you're being stalked by a gang. Or when someone says gang stalking, you take it in the literal sense. Gang stalking absolutely has nothing to do in 90 plus percent of the times with the gang, 95 percent or more. There are maybe a gang that is stalking someone because they are fixing to kill them. OK, that's that's not even really stalking. OK, stalking is um, usually has no death intention whatsoever. It's just some pervert or, or some crazy that wants to see you 24 hours a day. So they have to and know your whereabouts 24 hours a day. So because they can't be in multiple places, they will hire, for lack of words, other people to stalk you on their behalf. OK, which is inclusive of video. OK, what's the use of having someone stalk someone on your behalf if you can't see them? These are bona fide perverts. There's a guy over here that sits in his vehicle, even though he has the AC on and it's 90 something plus degrees right now. OK, I'm like, are you serious? And, and you go around to take your trash out. You come back because I'm always outside. You come back and he's still in his vehicle just sitting there with tinted windows watching some woman in her apartment, either myself or some of the women in building four because building four is full of women. OK, he lives in the building Four. go figure. Um, so that I wanted to get that out of the way. Also donations. I am accepting donations for my causes, for things I need to do. Um, I appreciate you <laughs> in advance. Send those donations via PayPal, and that's paypal.com, and send the uh, money, use the send money link, and send those funds in any amount to the account uh, Kimmy Wyatt 2, as, as in 1-2, um, num numerical, at outlook.com, O-U-T-L-O-O-K.com. As mentioned before, and the other soup for the souls and the blue cup in the attics, I, I used to be the type of person that wouldn't ask a person for a thing. But, you know, it took someone that I dated that had a substantial amount of money, actually, that let me know um, that one day I was going to need someone. But I was OK. I'm not this type of woman. If I if I don't need you, I don't need you. You know, uh, if we're dating, I, I mean, I don't need I, I'm OK. But if I need you, I expect for you to be there, especially if you can. OK. And that's how I operate. But, you know, if I don't need you, I don't need you. And this guy had a lot of money. As a matter of fact, um, he was also also in lieu of his um, normal job at the hospital. He was um, also in the oil industry. OK. So he had a lot of money and um, he was right. So. With that being said, I appreciate all of your donations. I do need them. And um, trust me, they will be used in the correct form and fashion. Okay. Um, let's see another announcement. Oh, you guys, I I do my darndest to respond to um, anyone who comments on anything that I do. Um, you know, if you're just commenting and, and say where it doesn't need a response, then I'll just click like to the comment but if it's something that needs a response and you haven't gotten a response from me please know that I haven't seen it I haven't seen it and please I tell people um, I've been well I've been telling you guys here lately to please if you're truly trying to get in touch with me now if you're just commenting and you hadn't, hadn't heard anything from me um, it is because I, I haven't seen it and you may not be looking for a response. But if you are looking for a response, you may ask me a question or um, anything. You're trying to get in touch with me for whatever reason. Please try to contact me in multiple places. I'm telling you because um, there's some stuff going on, you guys, as you guys already know. And I, I didn't see it, honestly, hands down. And that's the honest to God truth. I didn't see it because if I see it, I'm going to respond to it. 
There has been minimal times where I've seen a comment and went back right and, and did not respond. And, but yet I went right back to it like the next day because I was probably tr about to log out anyway. Um, and so I left it there as if I hadn't seen it. So it would be, would be there when I logged in uh, the next time. And it was always there. OK, I don't think I have any other announcements other than that. If I do, I'll just let you guys know um, what's going on. My goal, uh, one of them is to move. I got to move and I got to I got to get in the house. I cannot be in another apartment. And um, that's going to put a lot of stress on me because um, right now I'm not able to do that. So, yeah. So any 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 way that you can help me in my cause of getting this these words out. Um, this information out to people, regardless of, regardless of what I do, I really would appreciate it. Also, oh, here's a message. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys, um, and uh, so that you can keep abreast of what's going on with me. It is so, so much, you guys, If I have that I have to show you. If I have 130 plus videos now, just imagine, I really have a lot of things to share um, to show you how to do this, to don't do that from finances to a whole bunch of things. Now, that may be ironic, but but keep in mind, I know a lot about finances. I just um, went through a downturn in my life, and it happens, you know. Um, but I do know some things just from working uh, for a bank, um, things that I can pass on to you about insurance, um, just anything. So I... I like for people to know what I know in most cases, 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 excuse me, that didn't want to come out, did it? Except for in my personal, personal life, you know, that that's that's the part that gets me the most. I don't have a personal life anymore because I have idiots. You know what I'm saying? You know the situation, the purpose for this video. So um, what I want to let you guys know, besides um, uh, as I what I said earlier, gang stalking, um, there's no gang stalking you okay unless you have done something to one of the members and they're stalking you because they're gonna they're gonna get you but tr trust me there's no stalking they're gonna find you okay because if you did something to them they know where you're you're usually located it's usually gang related they're gonna find you within 72 hours chances are within a week or something and then you're they're, you know and you're gone okay if that's the case so, but gang stalking in the definition sense, in the in the in the reality sense of, of of what's going on with myself and what's going on with a lot of people in the world today, um, I didn't even know how many people were being stalked like this, and and likewise race wise, uh, me being Black African, which is my term for Black people or a Black person, I I had no clue. Okay, so. That was somewhat of a relief to know that it's it's not necessarily racial. Um, not not saying that that that. Okay, let me explain something. When I say not necessarily racial, I'm thinking black black African women because where I was, it was only black African women they were stalking well, or, or 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 not stalking. I'm being stalked. I and and I know of an, other women that were, but it was only black African women really in both both places because I'm in a um, a place now that it's only uh, ninety nine percent or ninety seven percent. I'll say ninety eight percent. Black African people over there, same thing. Well, it was a different situation, but only black freaking people were being um, spied on uh, with with the uh, with the major percentage being Guatemalan, Salvadorians, Honduras, Mexicans, okay, that lived in the complex. So I hope I explained that correctly. In other words, only Black African women and Black African couples are being spied on, okay, or were. Although I have video, see, I've got video, you guys, of a conversation between two um, gentlemen, I don't even want to call them gentlemen perverts, where one of them a uh, Caucasian dude or ca Caucasian looking dude was telling the Hispanic dude that lived in my, in my former complex um, or vice versa. I, 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 that would be a lie. I don't know which one of them was saying this, but I think it was a Hispanic dude and he made some, I'm going to paraphrase. Um, yeah. And you know, some of the people want to see uh, by bi, um, biracial, you know, mixed or something like that. In other words, mixed girls, or, you know, or females. Um, so moving right along, 
the major way that they lure um, victims of the victims. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be a good way to put it. The major way they lure people into uh, gang stalking to join into the club, for lack of words, is with drum roll money. Money. Money can make a lot of people do a lot of things that they normally would not do because they have lack of it. Okay. Money will make people do a lot of things that they normally would not do because they have a lot of it. Money is the ruler of all evil. Well, that's Satan. But, you know, money money will make people do things. You know, just like um, the OJs said, money, 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 you know. Um, some people got to have it. Some people really need it. You know, in other, in other words, some people will do anything. That first line, some people got to have it, they'll do anything. And some people really need it. They need it, but they're not going to necessarily go do anything. You know, wonderful lyrics. Okay. They're not going to go do anything, just anything to get it, rather. So money, 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 money. So here's a scenario. Um, I got on a suit. I'm a male. I go, I've been watching you because um, you're not the one that's being stalked or I want stalked, but you live in the vicinity of the area to the person that um, we want stalked upstairs, downstairs, behind uh, the, the apartment, you know, and the right next door across the hall. Um, but usually across the hall would not work because that's really another part of the building. When I'm speaking on apart apartments or condos, uh, whatever, any multifamily units. Okay. Um, and so, they're usually going to go up to the sides or down when they're looking for people to spy on so that they can see how, how you operate. If you if you have a job, um, what kind of vehicle you have, how you dress, you know, how you carry yourself, body language, um, what you if you talk and speak, if they hear you saying something, uh, you know, how do you talk and speak your dialect? And how they do this is to stalk you, meaning wanting to initiate you into being a stalker. So they're going to stalk you first, sit in the vehicle. Most of these apartment complexes don't have working gates. They come in and they sit in the vehicle and, um, and, and watch you either from a distance or sitting in the vehicle watching you. Here's the deal. I did a, um, a blue cup in the attic on census. We don't pay attention to our senses and they are aware of that, meaning your nose, your, your mouth, your, your ears, you know, your hearing rather, um, um, your, your, your sense of, of, um, you know, your mouth and everything. So they know that if, if they're sitting in the vehicle and, so, and they're sitting out there, not necessarily all the time, which would be, which would be obvious, but they're sitting in their vehicle backed in facing your apartment. This is, this is you. They want to get you to, to watch this person. You haven't done anything. And the person they're watching hasn't, hasn't done anything, but you're a male, you're another male or a couple. So they will watch you to see what your pattern is, uh, your daily pattern, what you do. Finally, when they realize you look pretty broke, you know, you're wearing regular clothes, you don't, you know what I'm saying. They're going to eventually come and knock on your door and ask you to um, be a stalker. And they're not going to say it like that. Number two, okay, once they have made a decision that they want you to be a stalker to stalk someone else, you know, uh, or you to be a stalker rather, um, they're going to come knock on your door. This is number two. And they're going to be dressed in, you know, appropriately for the job. In other words, for the lure, um, L-U-R-E. And they're going to probably have on a suit. They're going to come up with all kinds of stuff. They may even be dressed as maintenance. They could, they, 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 <laughs> come on. There's, it's limitless um, at this point, uh, number two, how they have to be dressed. It depends on how they want to approach you. Um if they approach you with a suit on or dressed up as, you know, with a dress or something, or you, it could even be a male and a female dressed churchy, um, for lack of words, then they're going to seal the deal, basically, because here you have a male and a female 
Um, they knock on your door, you answer it without opening it in most cases, as most black African people will not do or will do. They don't, they do not open, um, the front door. They will speak through the front door before opening. And you hear, um, and I may have said that will, will not do or will do wrong, but the gist of it is they are going to talk through the door. And when you, and look up the peephole and when you say you're a special agent, they knowing they haven't done any drugs or anything. Um, and they may say we're, sp uh, we're special agents and we need to question you about your neighbor downstairs. Who wouldn't do that? Especially if you're a nosy, you know what? And, 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 and stupid, you know, and so they're in, they're in your apartment, you know, and so uh, they'll lie with false documents. She stole this from um, such and such. We need you to spy on her. We're going to pay you to spy on him. We're going to give you money, um, this amount, every blah, blah, blah. We're going to put cable because cable is needed. We're going to put cable in your apartment and give you a big screen TV that you can have even when this is done. We're going to buy you drugs, whatever kind of drugs. Now, here's the deal. If they buy drugs, they're probably not going to say they're an agent, okay? Okay. But they can also say this is a program and and we since weed is legal in some states, we can provide you with weed. Organized crime, you guys, some of the people involved in this at the top are drug dealers. OK. Drug dealers, not gangs, OK, or gang members. They could be a drug dealer, just a gang member. But you know what I'm saying? This is not this is not. Um, um, the Bloods and the Crips, for instance, you know, spying on you. Come on. If they want you out, you're out. <laughs> At least there's going to be a pretty darn good attempt. So, and it's going to be done in ample time, not sitting there spying on you every freaking day. Okay. So once they do that, they show false documents, dress up, yada, 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 yada. And number three, they're going to give, the, they're going to give money in most cases right there on the spot. When they give that money right on the spot, that seals the deal. That's a done deal because you're letting, they're letting you know that they're legitimate or letting you feel they're legitimate, that this money is going to keep on coming depending on what they've told you. Um, they tell you they aren't, they're going to buy you a vehicle. In most cases, they will do that. Um, you know, in other words, lure, you know, lure. Okay. Coerced. You know what lure means, you know, when 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 you are fishing, if you're a fisherman or just leisurely a fisher person, you know what I'm saying? You you put the bait on the hook and you throw the throw the rod, the, 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 the line in the water. You're trying to lure um, prey onto your hook so you can hook them. Same thing. It's the exact same thing. OK, once they're hooked. Um, they're going to come in with some little equipment, you know, that, you know, and tell you how to work it out, how to do this, what you need to do. All that's, that's a done deal. This is number three, the equipment. Um, but they're going to also say they need access to your apartment at any time, which means they, uh, will come over. Now you don't have to answer if you've done this, but most cases you're going to answer because this, this is amazing. And we were broke and now we have some money and we have a vehicle. Yeah, answer the door. We're getting weed and we're getting drugs and all this. You know what I'm saying? It's just, just, it's just silly. Very silly. Um, and so then comes the kaboom. Either they tell you at that meeting, the initial meeting, or they will, because they're in contact with you. They need your phone numbers and everything. Um, either they're going to tell you during the, the initial meeting or they're going to, contact you later and tell you, uh, we need to come in and install even more equipment. You know, this is lifting up of the carpets. This is installing, uh, equipment that will drop down into the wall. And here's the deal. These are apartments. So, uh, or, or upwards, you know, they, they can do things. So if the person's upstairs, uh, I was in my apartment over there at my other apartment and, and every step I took, basically someone was following me up under my steps. Now, you're going to think, oh, that was just the apartment creaking. No, I said following me every step I took. And I didn't understand when I got in my apartment, I swear before the Lord and this just came to me. Um, In my living room, 
when you went in the corner, as you as you're going into one of the corners, like the corner by the uh, blinds, the corner by the vertical blinds, it literally sunk down. Um, if I say from the corner going back and towards the living room to the middle of the living room diagonally from that corner, it was sinking down. That was the deepest, but it sunk down probably starting two steps from the middle of the floor. And that, and I had a pretty big size living room, you guys. I did. So I didn't understand why was the floor like that? It's unbalanced. As a matter of fact, it got uh, when I when I noticed it, it got immediately got to the point where I thought I was going to fall through the floor. OK, why am I telling you this? This is because they will come in and totally destroy an apartment. Yet, especially if you were, you've, you've agreed to spy on someone um, yet, yet when you move out, everything's going to be OK, because once again, the people at the top, the people who are doing this in most cases are, or in most cases, uh, the people who are doing this are Guatemalans, Salvadorians, Hondurans, uh, Guatemalans, Salvadorans, Hondurans, Mexicans, who builds most of the buildings and things in this country or in America or in anywhere, basically. Hun Guatemalans, Salvadorians, Hondurans, Mexicans. And if not the first three, the latter. Okay. So they know how to fix your wall once there's a hole there's a hole in your wall to where no one will know or if it's it's minuscule, you know, the damage. Very, very minuscule. This is what they do, okay, in most cases. And that's not a prejudice statement, that's a fact. I hate to hear people saying, Oh, that's prejudice. No, 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 no. Do you not know who builds most of the stuff here? You didn't know? You didn't know that most times a maintenance guy is going to be a Hispanic in your apartment complex. You didn't know that or at least one of them. You didn't know. OK, they're very crafty and building things. Get over yourself. You know, I'm, you just get over yourself. It is what it is. And so because of that, because they're crafty building stuff, you're set. You know, number three, you're set. The extra equipment has to come in. We're going to pull up your carpet. We're going to do this and blah, 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 blah. You're set. You come in your apartment and, hey, you come in and you see equipment every time you leave. You see, you just see equipment and stuff all over, all, all over. But don't get it twisted. They know how to fix that so that when the time comes, and because it's usually an inside job with the maintenance at that complex, it's a done deal. Okay. It is a totally done deal. So um, let's see. Is there a number four? No, it's really not a number four. You're in. You're in. You're getting compensated according to whatever you guys have agreed with or whatever they tell you. They're going to give you money. And and there you go. You're watching someone in their apartment. You're, you're, you're doing all kinds of stuff. They're going to teach you how to do cast to device and teach you how to do all of this stuff to spy on this person because they you they need you to be them their eyes at all times okay and like i said if you're an idiot or stupid you're gonna fall for it if you're broker than broke or broker than a joke you don't care about anyone with but yourself you're gonna you're gonna be a part of the problem not part of the solution and in, in the lives of black African people so congratulations on that. Okay. So money is it. And um, I think that is the, I think that's, I think I summed it up. That's it. It's, it's all about money. Um, as a matter of fact, I mentioned in another, um, the blue cup in the attic, I um, accidentally did a blue cup in the attic and I called it the, the, a soup. Well, I call it soup for the soul, but then while doing while recording, because I wasn't going to start over, um, I corrected that. So there is a soup for the soul out there that is S T um, F. I mean, excuse me, S F T S. And then in parentheses, it has T B C I T A, which are the acronyms for the blue cup in the attic. Um, so, so you guys will know there is one like that. Okay, so I've made my announcements. Um, once again, please uh, be sure to donate. Uh, and you can send that donation via PayPal. Uh, that's paypal.com forward slash Kimmy Wyatt. 
No, 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 no. Ooh, that would be nice. No, no, PayPal. You know what? PayPal should do that. Why is it people, you know, your company can't have its own PayPal URL? Hint, hint, PayPal. You know, I, I think if your company is, is um, dealing with PayPal and has de dealt with PayPal for about one to two years, depending on 24 months, you should be able to get your own PayPal URL, meaning people should be able to go to paypal.com forward slash sexy resell, for instance, uh, sexy resell and and all of your stuff is there or something or whatever that would be great so there you go paypal there's a tip for you um it's like a social media payment platform <laughs> which is another idea where am i coming up i always come up with stuff you guys um so hasta la vista buenos aires buenas noches arriba delche abrevoa salida don't let the doorknob hit you where the good lord split you Chow Bela, Chow Belo, smooches. And before I go, okay, please comment, you guys. I want to know that this is reaching, good or bad, it, that this information is reaching um, someone. You know what I'm saying? Because I do continuously post up and um, I, 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 and thank you for those who have been commenting um, and thanking and thanking me as well um, with your comments, everything. Um, because that's my goal. My goal is to inform people that this is not just, I hate to say just, but this is not, so I retract that. This is not the um, spying of old, you know, people spying on people, following them, all that's included, you know. Why, why you think I, I'm being, I'm not only being spied on, I'm being stalked. So I'm one of the people that are going through both, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm literally being stalked. So, yeah, so, but, but this is not, even though this is not, um, I mean, this is not the spying of old. This is, this is new technology, new type of spying, everything. So you're basically going to get the heightened, um, equipment, equipment that is, is, is the highest tech, that technology available at the moment. And I'm going to tell you, I, 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 if this equipment that I'm speaking of, can look through walls, can look through brick, can look through ceramic, can do all these things, then how can it get any better? What, are you going to be able to look up in the sky and see Jesus? Gotta go. Who knows? Bye.